get his wages. Hey, Greg, That's we're not in China, can. mate. Hey, listen, we're not in fucking China, okay, mate? We're in Australia. Really? Yeah. And here in Australia, I get $2 an hour less than guys doing exactly the same as me. That's the reality. He had a sign on a chair in the middle of the warehouse, right? And it said, uh, Al-Qaeda eats here. Remember? It was a joke. Mm. No, I got that part. <laughs> but you know how he pies, right? With dead horse and everything, I love it. And they say it's thinking wog food. A man can defend himself, yeah? But, but to fail, he he's just baby. All that crying. Must get on your nerves sometimes. Yeah, this was her idea, huh? Sit Only down. a woman could think of yeah, such an attitude towards Constable Raider will not be tolerated, so sit down. Do you love your wife? The love. What is love, hmm? The marriage is arranged, yeah? And maybe love comes, and maybe not. Hospital. I retraced the steps. I tried my contacts downtown. None. Chinatown. None. Edge of town. None. I needed an answer fast, and all the while my heart was beating like a steam train. This was not a case that could go unsolved. But I used up all my leads. <laughs> but how do you say no to a man like Boston Tom? That cocky son of yours! I always thought you were too good to even notice me, eh? But you know what? I showed him, didn't I, huh? You killed my son! <laughs> You have a shot, Smiley. <laughs> hey, love you. Wow. If that happens, you will never, ever be a part of Matt's life again. You'll be fine, okay? You have just stood here saying that you don't want to hurt Nat. No, and now you're willing fuck to... Fuck this shit, run. right? Fuck you it, okay? Get off me! I have better things to do you than you being out of Get away! Hey, Nick. Uh, Neville's turning over a bit of this stuff, is he? Yeah, mate, he's, uh, he's got all the fucking uh, spirit in the western suburbs, huh? Really? Huh? He's doing well, then, isn't he? You're a poor thing. Uh -huh. Hey, at least I don't have root goats. We what? These root goats. Ed. Hey, uh -huh. fucking apologise. You alright? Company you must Marco. <laughs> I've often hunted wild yak on these lands. Have you ever dined on wild yak shank roasted over an open fire under the stars? My uncle killed a boar in Calgar. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't lived, my Latin friend. Wild yak shank and normal is as close to heaven as one can get in this life. Meat and wine, hardly my idea of heaven. You're referring to the sweet young woman, I presume. Young and not so. The ones I've had, 
The ones I haven't. The very master Marco. The deep dark triangle inevitably leads us to a world extremely far from heaven. And Sangar? Which world is he now occupied? A world which has no wild yak or norm. He was a good man. He had a family. A good man does not take what is rightfully not his. A good man doesn't choose murder when there are less drastic alternatives. You give me too much credit, Master Marco. I do not have the power to order an execution. You have the calm here. You could have prevented it. And why would I do that? Senga stole from our Khan, and for that he had to die. If I had known, I wouldn't have said anything. Then you would have joined Senga in whatever world he currently treads. Da, yeah, William! Da! Yeah! Six of them? The youngest was 16. Madera's boy, Taban. Taban. I knew him. He used to mop the floor at Madera's grocery. He always knew what fruit was the sweetest. Now all that is left of him is a bloody head and a cloth satchel. Mm, send Madara a purse of silver. I'm afraid silver won't assuage his grief, Empress. Impressive? Hmm, Shirian. Effusive in everything she does. I saw her nearly faint once, when a puppy licked her face. Hmm. Yes, well, that is no puppy. Hmm. I know it is not my place, Empress, and far be it for me to overstep my bounds. You are as the son of Khan as I. There's no need to hold your tongue. If you have any inkling of the Khan's private thoughts... Concerning? Spilling the blood of the savage Yasadawi. Hatred is not ceased by hatred. Yes, but it may be stopped by a saber. Ah, oh, is this a matter of finance, Ahmed? Finance fills the crucible of war. The spoils free our treasury. They are one and the same. Why speak of this to me? Matters of war are the bellowing of the Khan. The Khan's ear opens widest for you, Empress. An audacious wench, that one. Mm, perhaps. Well, then you would have joined Sangha in whatever world he currently treads. Ah, oh, William! <laughs> Again? One more. Young and not so. The ones I had and the ones I haven't. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, mate. <laughs> come on, buddy. Come on, William, come on. Oh! Steady! <laughs> oh, I'm on fucking ass! <laughs> yeah, William! Yeah! Oh, 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 <laughs> no. yeah, for sure, man. I feel like John Wayne. <laughs>